This video will demonstrate how to take measurements that are calibrated for absolute irradiance using ocean optics equipment. An absolute irradiance calibration can be essential when performing measurements that need to relate to absolute values. The absolute irradiance data can be compared with any other absolute irradiance measurements and removes the individual response of the system that you are using. The equipment we use in this demonstration is as follows. The QE Pro high sensitivity spectrometer with a 25 micron slit, a 600 micron UV vis fiber, a CC3 UVS cosine corrector, the DH3 plus calibration light source for UV vis and NIR. This is a powerful calibration source covering a wide range from 230 to 2400 nanometers. In this demonstration, we will use the cosine corrector to give a full 180 degree field of view. It's vital to make sure that your configuration is the same as what you'll use for your measurements. Once you have done the calibration, you must stick with this configuration and not dismantle it as the system will need recalibrating. To set up the equipment, simply attach each end of the fibre to the light source and the spectrometer. Turn on your light source and allow it to warm up for 20 minutes. You should insert the CD or USB drive containing the calibration data that came with your calibration lamp. Once your equipment is ready, open up Ocean View. Ensure that the device has been detected and is ready to use by going to the Schematic View. Next, click the icon at the top right to create a new spectroscopy application. Choose Absolute Irradiance and then the Active Acquisition and click Next. You will then be asked to choose a number of measurement parameters. First, choose the integration time. A longer integration time is best as it improves the signal to noise ratio, but the calibration source may have high intensity. So simply choose the integration time that brings the highest point in the spectrum up to the blue line displayed and take care not to saturate the spectrometer. For best results, turn on the electric dark and non-linearity correction and opt for a number of averages. Once you have chosen these, click Next. Select the option to perform a new calibration. Next, you will be asked to store a reference spectrum. This is the signal that your spectrometer will be receiving when your light source is on. Click the yellow bulb to take a reference. Next you'll be asked to take a dark measurement. Do this by closing the shutter on your light source and clicking the grey bulb icon. Then click next. On this screen you must get the calibration data for the lamp. With the CD inserted, select browse and navigate to where the files are. The lamp files end in .lmp and depending on how your lamp is configured, there are often one or two files. If you are using a bare fibre, you will want to select the file with FIB in the name. If you are using a cosine corrector, the file name should contain the letters CC. If you are using an integrating sphere, it will also be marked appropriately. Open this and once the file is loaded, click Next. Choose from the collection area options depending on what configuration you are using. Either integrating sphere, fibre or cosine corrector. For a bare fibre, you will need to input the fibre diameter of the fibre that you are using. However, we are using a cosine corrector, which means we need to input the collection area of the cosine corrector. This can be obtained from the product specifications for the cosine corrector on the Ocean Optics website. Make sure at this point to save your calibration by choosing Save to File. Choose an appropriate file name, save your file, and then click Finish. You have now created a calibration file for your spectrometer. You will now have an absolute irradiance calibrated spectrum displayed in the tab titled Absolute Irradiance View. You can see the y-axis shows absolute spectral irradiance in microwatts per centimetre squared per nanometer, the units for absolute irradiance. Now each time you use your spectrometer you can use this calibration. Simply start the spectroscopy application wizard and select absolute irradiance again. Select your measurement parameters which can be different to when you made the calibration and this time choose get calibration from file. Take a dark, click next and then select browse. This time choose the calibration file that you created previously. 
click finish and you will once more have your absolute irradiance calibrated spectrum. So that's how to calibrate your spectrometer for absolute irradiance using an Ocean Optics calibration light source. For more information visit www.oceanoptics.com